Welcome to Ambo Life. Today I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Instant Pot to make a rosemary and olive oil bread using beer. This is a great option for, for those of you living in a, in a small space and for those of us who do not have any yeast because it uses the yeast that's already in the beer. The other nice thing is that because this is a quick bread, it, it does not require any kneading or, or proofing. So let's get started. So I have my flour here, baking powder, salt, rosemary, and sugar. Mix well. There's our olive oil and a 12 ounce can of beer. So for this step it's very it's very important to just mix gently and to not over mix it because otherwise your beer bread will be too tough. So that's it. And now, now we'll add our batter to a to a greased um, cake pan. This cake pan that I'm, I'm using is a six inch in diameter pan with a three inch side. So I've just greased this with a little olive oil. And now we'll add in the batter. So now I'm just I'm, I'm just going to gently smooth this with my spoon as much as I can, just a little bit. There. to put my foil sling inside here. Now I'll, I'll, I'll put the cake pan in the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to, to bake this in the Instant Pot on high pressure manual for, for 65 minutes, followed by a natural pressure release. Thank you. 
So the dial is on ceiling mode and I'm going to put this on, I'm gonna say pressure cook high. Make sure this is turned off and I'm just gonna put this down to 65 minutes. Great. Stay tuned. All right, so, so our bread has been baking. It baked for 65 minutes on high, followed by a natural pressure release for about maybe 30 minutes. And let's see it. So to take this bread out, I'm, I'm just going to just run a knife ar around the edge just to make sure nothing's stuck. And it seems like nothing did, so we should be all set. And so hopefully this this will work. Take a towel, flip it over. There we go! Yay, it worked! <laughs> and just pop it on our serving plate. Now, let's try it. Yeah, so as you can see, this is a fairly tall loaf because I've made it in, in this um, six inch cake pan. So it's a good idea to get one that's about um, three inches tall. Mm. That is really, really good. So this would be perfect dipped in seasoned olive oil or with a little bit of butter. So there you have it folks, a delicious, easy, quick bread made with beer. And it's got a lovely rosemary olive oil flavor and it's really, really good. So hope you enjoy this. Please feel free to subscribe to our, our channel for more van life cooking, van life how-tos and um, travel destinations. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time. Bye-bye. Mmm. Abel did such a fantastic job on this bread. Mm. Oh, thank you. So delicious. If you all are looking for an easy, wonderful bread recipe, then this is a true winner. Stay tuned for some um, delicious bread. Actually, I think you may want to do that again. That's 75 minutes. An olive oil flavored beer bread. Beer bread. Rosemary and olive oil flavored beer bread. I, I always stumble on bees. Rosemary and olive oil bread using beer. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. That's my...